Hey everybody, Navidoc5184 here and welcome to another reaction video and today I'm actually going to be reacting to a lightsaber battle. It is going to be the original lightsaber battle from um, Star Wars Episode 4 between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. So um, now with this one, nothing very spectacular with it, but what I really do appreciate about it is even though there's like it's nothing theatric like you get in like the prequels or even in... um. You know, even episodes five and six, you know, but, you know, you just kind of appreciate this one because A, it's the very first that was ever done. But B, despite the fact that there's not a whole lot of theatrics with it, there is, I mean, it's just such great storytelling to me, you know, and sometimes to me that can make it like, I know I've seen that um video where they've taken this lightsaber battle and like added a bunch of stuff, which you know, which very, you know, I think visually appealing, but I think I kind of just like the original better because I think that the storytelling, you know, in my opinion, was better just left alone because you got Obi-Wan, you know, who's battle-worn, tired, older, so you don't really foresee him having all the skills that he once had, whereas with Vader, while yes, he is still very skilled, is mostly machine now so he's not going to have the same mechanics i mean granted that with what they had him do in rogue one i think was still good but at the same time it still felt really more mechanical whereas i think what they reimagined the remake that was made with this battle i think was just a little much so i kind of appreciate how it shows how they're both diminished but at the same time i still think vader still shows you know insane skill so anyhow, enough of that. We're just going to go ahead and get started right into the video. I'm going to leave a link to the original video in the description below as well as in the info card over there. So uh, definitely feel free to check this out, you know, just to kind of examine it on your own um, time. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with it. I can only imagine what people were thinking when this first came on. For you, we meet again at last. The circle is now complete. I bet the anticipation was so high. But the learner, now I am the master. Only a master of evil, Darth. No. You know, right now, I just want to go ahead and give a lot of props to Alec Guinness because. While I said there wasn't a whole lot of theatrics with this, like, you could really tell that Alec was really into this and probably really trained very seriously to make this something special, you know, and I just really got to give him props for this right now because, you know, I think he does such a great job, you know, and even, um, you know, the guy who does Vader, was it David Prowse? I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. You know, it's like the work they had, to, especially with David doing it in that costume, you know, I can only imagine how difficult that is. So, I mean, kudos to both of them for being able to pull off such an amazing feat. Your power is a weak old man. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. I love that line. Perfectly not to come back. Yeah, that line perfectly was playing the Vader, Vader's ego. I mean, and look at the way these guys are moving. Like I said, even though, like, compared to, like, the, the prequels, it's like, their movements are still really good. I mean, this is still really a good battle. Like I said, just the story behind it and the story they're telling with this battle. Now that little bit right there, I'm gonna re I'm gonna rewind it a little bit. That right there, holy crap! That was pretty smooth. Ben? And there they go. And then, and then there's that smirk. He knows it's time. So yeah, very short and sweet, but man, I really feel like there was a lot told with that. You know, like I said, that line where 
Obi-Wan was telling Vader, you know, that, you know, if he strikes him down, how he'll become more powerful than Vader could ever imagine. It's like, it almost feels like he's just like daring him, like just totally playing to his ego, you know, and even before he let Vader strike him down, you saw like that smirk, like he was just totally at peace with what was about to happen. And that's really kind of the whole thing about it. Whereas, you know, Vader, aka Anakin, was just obsessed with the idea of how to cheat death. Whereas Obi-Wan was willing to accept death, you know, and allow himself to become one with the Force, which, you know, in essence did make him more powerful than he was before, you know, because then, you know, he comes back, you know, to assist Luke, you know, and Empire Strikes Back and in Return of the Jedi, you know, to still guide him as a Force ghost. You know, and even later on, you know, he's with Luke, you know, he's telling Luke to run to get to the Falcon and leave the Death Star. And then he's with him, you know, telling him to trust the force when Luke is, you know, the Battle of Yavin, when they're, you know, getting ready to destroy the Death Star, you know. So, so Obi-Wan had it figured out, whereas, you know, Vader didn't quite get it yet. Didn't quite get it yet. But like I said, even though it was a short battle... I thought it was a very compelling story being told with that battle. And I think that's why I appreciate it so much. You know, not really, there wasn't anything that needed to be added. Granted, the one thing I will say is there are some things that I did like with that remake that was made um, where they had Vader kind of like replaying the memories, you know, on Mustafar, you know, from their last battle. I did like that aspect. But I think even without having that in here, like if you've watched the prequels, it's like there's so much that you kind of understand, you know, but it's like it was such a beautiful story being told in just that couple of minutes, you know, nothing fancy was needed. You know, you have a Jedi who's battle worn, weary, tired, you know, his skills are diminished, but, you know, he was still strong enough in the force to make a fight of it. Whereas you got Vader just at this point, just completely you know, just consumed in the dark side, consumed with anger, you know, to where maybe his skills, you know, while they're still there, aren't as pure as they may have been, you know, and then just deal on that with he's practically a machine, you know, that's going to diminish his movement a little bit. But yet at the same time, like I said, you had moments in there where it's just like was very impressive movements. I mean, they both did, you know, David Prowse and Alec Guinness did a wonderful job with that fight. So kudos to both of them for taking a scene that was like two minutes and telling an amazing story with it hope you all enjoyed this reaction if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you are subscribed make sure you have the notification bell turned on that way you can be notified anytime a new reaction video goes live and um leave a comment let me know what you thought of this and you know if you're a star wars fan what is your favorite lightsaber battle and let's even go a step further which is your favorite star wars movie you know that could be a very good discussion to have some point you know i'm you know i'm wanting to do a live stream at some point maybe discussing you know how i feel about the star wars movie so that might be a good discussion you know what's everybody's favorite movie why or even which ones aren't their favorite but uh yeah like i said definitely uh let me know what's your favorite star wars movie and what's your favorite lightsaber battle but um all that being said i'll catch y'all down the road